Thank you. Okay. Hello. Hello. Good morning. Who is this? This is Bill Hernandez, editor. Oh, Bill Welcome. Hernandez. Yeah, I've got you. Yeah, am I speaking with Mick? You are. It yep. sounds like you. Good morning. How are you? Um, I'm good. I'm good. There's a little bit of sun out, and uh, I'm looking too bad. Wonderful. Well, we're here in Florida, so as you know, the sun shines all the darn time. So we're doing pretty well. You're in Fort Lauderdale? Yes, sir. Okay. And we're looking forward to seeing you guys next month when you come down. That'll be great. So I wanted to ask you, uh, Mick, like looking back uh, to your childhood, can you recall when music first impacted your life? Um, hmm, uh, it's a long time ago. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, yeah, I'm, the first thing that sort of affected me, I guess, was um, that my, my parents had a collection of uh, Les Paul and um, albums and uh, it was this crazy sort of sound from outer space is what it sounded like in a way with all the echo and the mm -hmm. reverb and and um, that was really the first thing the first thing I remember that mystified me about not just the guitar, but you know the use of effects and and the kind of um, stuff that he pioneered, you know. Mm -hmm. And um, so that was really, the, I'd say, the first uh, curiosity into into music. Now, now in your teen years, um, who were some of the bands or artists that you were listening to at that time that may have? You know, contributed to your musical style. Um, well, obviously the Beatles. Mm -hmm. uh, um, you know, earlier on, uh, as did most of my contemporaries, I guess it, a lot of it was like Chuck Berry, Buddy Holly, uh, names from way back then. You know, um, but. Uh, yeah, there was. You could say it was. It was like a mixture of of kind of blues and R and B. Mm -hmm. um, earlier on, is what attracted me. You know, I was. I felt drawn towards that. I liked the expression in the blues, and you know, I, I liked uh, those three chords basically. Yeah, <laughs> which were pretty cool. Yeah, absolutely amazing. Yeah, you, yeah you, and you can do a lot sorry. with those three chords. You can indeed. Yes. <laughs> now, as, as a guitar player, are you self-taught or did you take lessons? No, I'm. Um, I, I was self-taught. I. Um, I never got on very well with lessons, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> it's too much like school. <laughs> and uh, so I never really ended up. Um, I kind of tried it. And then, you know, after a, a couple of sessions, I I found I was learning all the things by heart anyway, by ear. And um, I figured, well, let's, let's try it this way, you know. Yeah. Now, your voice is also your instrument. What do you do, if anything, to maintain your vocals while you're on tour? Well, um... First of all, you know, obviously you, you don't do anything that could affect your voice adversely, you know, I mean, um, I guess especially these days, you know, you, you have to be um, uh, you, know, you have to be careful, you have to have a certain um, mindset on how you're going to do that and how you're going to not be uh, you know distracted not be um, how could I say it you know just 
be very um, diligent about how you use your voice and don't overuse it. Um, try and take that time between shows to to um, revitalize. And um, apart from that, there's there's nothing really uh, crazily um, special about how how we warm up. Well, you must be doing something right because for the last <laughs> eight shows that I've reviewed for you guys, uh, your voice has always been on point. Thank you. <laughs> now, th <laughs> now, this past year saw a few uh, reunion concerts with uh, Lou Graham and many of the other former band members of Foreigner. How was it mm -hmm. to play with these guys again? It must have been so exciting. It was. It was um, really a you know a, a trip through the past and uh but but at the same time it, it, it was it was great i don't know how to describe it except that i had a lot of fun the guys had a lot of fun we said well let's try and do this again and uh <clears throat> so it's opened the door to perhaps um you know slightly more frequent uh, appearances by everybody. Well, that's fantastic news. Now, we're also excited to hear about the upcoming musical titled Jukebox Hero. How did this idea come to fruition? Um, well, initially, I guess um, it came about through my management um, keeping their eyes peeled for uh, an opportunity, you know, to perhaps delve into the idea of doing a, a musical. Um, uh, I, I guess that f at least five or six years I'd been thinking about it. Mm -hmm. And um, I figured, well, you know, a lot of people seem to be enthusiastically, uh, you know, involved with this and um, it sort of took on a life of its own and uh, the wonderful script by my uh, an old friend of mine um, Ian Lafrené who's um, quite a renowned British uh, comedy writer uh, also film script writer too and um, with he and his partner Dick Clement we uh, we set to work with it, you know, just hashing out the the basic skeleton of an idea, you know, and um, working on it from there, and now to the point where in um, a few months' time they'll they'll be um, premiering it. Hopefully, if all goes well. Fantastic. We'll certainly keep an eye and an ear out for that. We're really excited yeah. to have this coming our way, which is great. Now, now, starting in March, Foreigner will be backed by the, the Dave Edgar Orchestra through April 4th. Uh, did the songs really have to be uh, arranged a lot in a different way to accommodate the orchestra? Um, not really, no. I don't think uh, that would have been the idea. It would have been more the other way, you know, with the that the orchestra sort of adapt to the song. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, no, we, we started this out la uh, last year actually in, uh, in Switzerland mm -hmm. at, a, at a festival down there with, uh, where we were supplied with an orchestra to do the show. And um, it was... Uh, Sorry, this is funny. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Yeah, sorry. No worries, no worries. So, um, at, at most of your shows that I've been to, uh, before the show, you guys sell uh, CDs, and uh, people mm. have a chance to win a, a signed uh, guitar from Foreigner. Are you still doing that at, 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 at your shows? Yes, we are. We and, will be this and summer, where does too. The, uh, where does the money go to again from this? Um, it is... Um, we have a, a, an arrangement.
engagement with uh, the Grammy Foundation, mm-hmm. <coughs> which um, is is run by the Gram- Grammys, and it's um, we donate after each show uh, a sum of money to uh, a local choir. Whoever is one, we have sort of a competition before the show, and um, and then the winning choir comes up on stage and sings uh, on uh, "I Want to Know What Love" with us. Yes. So, what what is what is next for Foreigner in the near future? Well, we have a busy year. Um, we'll be going. Uh, Pretty much, um, we have a few shows here. Then, in uh, I guess, what what date? Sorry, just one sec. What date is this? Yeah. What about the European? Hello. Hello. Yeah. Hi. Uh, um, May second is when the uh, we go to Europe, mm-hmm. uh, and that's uh, about th- three or four weeks of uh, touring in Europe. We're playing in. Uh, we're doing the Albert Hall in London, mm-hmm. and then um, <clears throat> we uh, several shows in Europe, and then we come back and start. Uh, the American tour on June 15th mm-hmm. uh, in uh, Bangor, Maine. Ooh. <laughs> kind of the opposite to where you are. <laughs> yeah, hopefully it's a little warmer by then. <laughs> yeah, hope so. <laughs> Mick, I want to thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule to talk with rockbandreviews.com today, and we're looking forward to seeing you at the Broward Center for the Performing Arts uh, coming up in March. And, yeah. And... Um, Yeah, we're going to get this turned around real fast, send it out to John Lappin, and hopefully he'll send it to you, and you can uh, see what we've done here today. Terrific. Wonderful. And if we can come back and say hi like we usually do, that'd be awesome. Okay, man. All right, Mick. Thank you so much. Safe travels to you and the guys on the road, and continued success with Foreigner. Thank you, man. Thank you. God bless, buddy. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.